Rob Beaton was born during the Second World War and started weaving in a mill when he was just 14. I've done every job in the mill. You have been through the mill? I've been through the mill. <laughs> That's really there, through the mill. He's almost 80 now, even older than some of these traditional looms he's working with. Setting these up is difficult and they get worn over the years. But while machines break down, Scotland's oldest professional hand weaver is still going. My wife wants me to retire. All my friends want me to retire, but I, I, these are my babies, these homes and things. You know, it's part of, been part of my life. If you find an apprentice and you can pass on all your expertise, will you finally be able to retire happily? Yes, yes, I'd love to pass it on. I would love somebody with the same enthusiasm as me to come in and be excited about the wounds and one thing or another. But I, I, I've never met anybody yet, but somebody might turn up. When Rob started, Scotland's mills employed thousands. Then automated machinery took over and once flourishing factories fell into decline. You draw the threads in. But Rob says there the is still glamour right? on these looms. Six, he works eight, with celebrity clients ten. who want handmade herringbone. And a certain you American know, country singer you, once phoned the factory ten. personally, but Rob's boss had never heard of her. It's Dolly Parton you're speaking to. And I says, uh, I says to her, I'll tell you what, Dolly, what I'll do is we'll do a, like a chess, a chess, uh, board. She says, oh, I would go with that. And Andy turned around and said, Sister Dolly, do you realise doing a sample length is quite expensive? Could you afford to pay for a sample length? <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Few can spin a yarn like Rob, and he's not ready to stop until he finds that elusive apprentice who cares as much for this craft as he does. Peter Smith, ITV News, Selkirk.